Okay, I guess we will continue on because I do not know how long Foxy will be. So hopefully she'll come back shortly. So we are back. Resuming where we were. <laughs> this is true. This is true, Giant Toro. Okay. Um, the current memory's position in time can be viewed by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. Oops. Why did I do that? There we go. <laughs> I had... I, I was still selected on OBS. There we go. So now it should work. Okay. Oh, let's turn off world interaction before we wake her up. After all that, I'm surprised we didn't already. Ugh. It's not polite to stare. Sheesh, and she didn't seem to like us before. Yeah, why is she like slumped on the bed like that? That's a little weird. An aged digital piano. Oh god, I didn't even know I could go out here! Colin? What the? This isn't a stable copy. Let's find one we can talk to. Weird. Unstable copy. What do we what do we have for? There is an odd instance of Colin on the most recent memories balcony. Asher's old soccer ball is kept in the attic. It's filled with blank pages. Hmm. Let's save our game. Because we haven't saved in a while. Okay. Yeah, she did seem very cold, so maybe we'll find out why. So that's the same. The whole background's fading in and out. It's weird. It's locked. Someone in the bathroom? Or the attic? Let's check upstairs. It's still full of books here. He must have cleared it very recently then. Cleared it? Yeah, when I checked this place in reality, it was empty except for one odd book. Which isn't here, actually. Ooh, spooky. Okay. The mirror is still the same. Same amount of boxes. Okay. See if we can find him outside. Uh, pretty sure the hall didn't look like this. Dude's so old he can't even remember his own home. But isn't the machine supposed to autocorrect these kind of spatial inconsistencies? Well, oh hey, look. What's he doing? Target acquired, let's go. Aw, oh, but you look nice. Meh, I like it this way better. Ahem. Bleh, alright. Damn it, I want the side part. Damn it! Thanks. 
Turning on entity interaction. Let's see what he says. Colin? My name is Dr. Eva Rosalyn. I'm a memory transver traversal specialist at Sigmund Corp. And my colleague here is Dr. Hatan. Dr. Ma oh, Hatton. Dr. Manhattan. Dear fucking lord. Cucumbers! <laughs> you are Dr. Neil Watts. How'd you know? Your name tag. This isn't what it looks to be, is it? Yes, Colin, your procedure has started. Good. It's not just me, then. Something felt off about this place. It's as if I'm both here and far away at once. Either this isn't where I think I am, or my head's going downhill faster than I thought. More like both, actually. <sighs> Fair enough. Aw. That's really... That's, that's a really rude way of putting it. My wife and son, how are they handling it? They're... There, right? Yeah, but they aren't prancing around, that's for sure. Although, given the circumstances, I guess I'd be worried if they were. Listen, there's not a lot of time, and it's best if we get started. You are the most recent slice of Colin that we can load up. And the only relatively reliable version that we can interact with for info. So, I hope you can assist us in completing the mission. Of course, why would I not? Good. I'll keep your state safe so we won't need to have this conversation again. Psst. Run a save on this state. Yes, your highness. Now, in order to help you relive your life here to fulfill your last wish, we are first going to backtrack through your memories to connect your timeline. And then we'll be able to transfer your desire all the way to your younger self and run the, ad the algorithm for you to live your life here all over again to fulfill your wish. Anyhow, Colin, we need your help. To jump between memories, we need mementos. They're items of importance to you that connect one memory with another. Do you have one here that we could jump with? Whoa, slow down. We don't even know what his wish is. What is it that you want anyway, Colin? Oh boy. <laughs> I want to go to the sun. <laughs> Actually, I think I can answer both of your questions with this. It's a Sigmund contract. The text is rather blurry, but... It is a memento. Sweet, let's move. This memento's barrier sh shatters by itself since it's so recent, but the next one won't be so easy. We'll need to charge it up first. Prepare. Oh, puzzles! Okay. Memories go the farthest when linked together. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm doing or if I'm doing this correctly. There we go. I was matching three in a row, I guess. Okay. Activate memento. Thanks. We might come back for your help again. Oh. 
Oh boy. Who was that? Did you see that? Who was that? Someone just ran into the memory. Wait a minute, this place. Hmm. It's the Sigmund guest house. Ah, where they wine and dine the geezers into signing up for the service. Sure been a while since I visited. Looks a bit different from when I was last here too. Let's check it out. Okay. Explore and interact to find memory orbs. Okie doke. Requires one to proceed. Oh. So I have to look around, I guess? Oh, there's a... What are you doing outside in the cold, Mr. Reeds? Your appointment is about ready. Please, right this way. So there's, so there's the one that I needed. There we go. I don't know if that was Roxanne. It was weird. Okay, I can't go that way. I have to go here. Welcome to the Sigmund Corp guest house. Please have a seat in our living room. Are we good to go? Why don't you sit back and enjoy some tea first? You must have come a long way to get here. I need to get back home soon. I'd just like to inquire about your service. Very well. Someone will be here to get you shortly. I need to get back home soon. Okay, so I have to walk around. I wonder why he's in such a rush. There's so much to the world, isn't there? much more than one could explore in a single lifetime. Say, wouldn't it be nice to visit where you've always wanted to go? I've already been there, once upon a time. I wonder where there is. And that's it? Okay. Either he knew he was dying, or... There's something else. Is there anything above the fireplace? I don't recall the fireplace here looking like that. Okay. Well. This photo was taken from the stage's perspective. Exhilarating, huh? Not many people get to experience what it's like to be famous. We sure get a lot of requests for that. So if it floats your boat, consider it done. If we have to do another one of these, I'm gonna go take a nap. It's not so bad. At least we get it done fast and go home early. If you'd like to choose fame and riches for your last wish, consider it done. Oh boy, who's that? You see, our service is really quite simple. You tell us your wish and we make it happen. Fame, wealth, unreached goals, and secret desires, you name it. We're your genie, Colin. What is your wish? So if I understand this correctly, you're saying I can't wish for more wishes. Oh. A game changer! You know, I've done and seen a lot in my lifetime. I've been to where I once thought I'd never be, seen what I once thought I'd never see. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly, there's no more time. Hmm. And I find myself here, just like everyone else. I walk through these doors and I realize that there's still this empty feeling inside me. I don't mean to be ungrateful to the life I've had, but I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? I want to say I've lived a happy life, and I want to feel like I have few regrets. 
But somehow, after all that, I still can't. That's why we are here, Colin. Just give us the word, and we'll make it right. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? Regrets. I don't know what to tell you for regrets, but I can tell you what I want. I want you to make me live that fulfilling life I wanted, but I want you to do it without changing anything I've been through. You don't want us to change anything. Colin, changing things is what we do. We change things and we can make them better. That's why you come to us, so we can make it better. We can solve your problems. Everything you wanted could have, oh, could have. Why did I add an R? Could have in this life. We can give you the chance to get it. But if you want to get something, you need to give up something. So I ask again, what do you want as your last wish? Very well. I want you to give me a fulfilling life while changing as little as possible. And if you have to change something, please just keep the memories of the life with my family intact. So you want to waive specificity? Specific? Specificity? Specificity? I can't say the word from the contract. Specificity? Specificity. I got it. Specificity. <sighs> with someone like that, with something like that, I hope you know there are no guarantees of result. I'm aware. It's settled then. I'll put our best people on it. Thank you. That's all I ask. Colin's wish. Try not to change anything? And we have free reign over his fate? What kind of a last wish is that? I don't even know where to start. Yeah, we've seen worse. The important thing here is that the boss said we'll put our best people on it. We're their best people, Eva. Booyah! Actually, about that. Never mind. Okay, I'm good. Let's go get the memento. Oh, just one more thing. Please don't tell my family. I don't want them to think I'm not content with how things are. Oh. Well. Well. It feels like he just simply wants to relive his life. All over again. Like, he doesn't want to change it. He doesn't want anything new or different. He just... He kind of wants to have it all again. And nothing more, nothing less. Exactly what Foxy said. Oh, there's the thing. You know, I've been rather impressed. What for? Well, back in the days, you kept on yelling dumb... ...juvenalities when shooting the barriers. But recently, I haven't heard any Hadouken or Kamihamiha or whatnot. It's been rather pleasant and professional. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gummy hobby ha <laughs> Memento prepare Pretty much yeah he just he just wants to experience it all over again. Okay, so it looks like I'm just changing Oh, okay, cool. I did stuff. What is that? 
Activate Memento. I have no idea what this is. It looks like a... A dumpling or something. <laughs> it's a dumpling! Oh no, it's a bag? Maybe? Okay, a little before. I better head out now, but before I forget. Here, take this hat, Pops. Oh, it's a hat. With the headache you've been getting, you should be more careful of the wind. I've been telling him that for ages. He never listens. All right, all right. I'll wear it if it stops this multi-directional nagging. Hey, it's been a while since your thing with Pam didn't work out. Listen, I was talking with my old colleague the other day. He's got a daughter named Jenny, you see. She's single and... Look, thanks, but I think I just really need to focus on my career right now. So, you guys going to get back to feeding the ducks or something? We wouldn't have to resort to that if you visit us more often, you little bastard. Aw, oh, but that hat is 100% cotton. Well, alright. You're off the hook. Drive safe, dear. We'll stay here and keep being overlord of the ducks. Bye, Ma. I'm proud of you. Not for the duck thing, but like, you know what I mean. Don't stay out too long at this time of year. Well, he dumped his girlfriend, or got dumped by his girlfriend because he was pursuing his studies more? That kid needs to make us a grandchild. What's wrong with Jenny anyway? Probably nothing, but you know how it is. When you were young, didn't your parents try to push people onto you too? Sure did. It was awkward and forced. Hmm. Sucked all the chemistry out of it for me as well. What are you doing? I'm texting him Jenny's info to set them up. Don't do that! He's driving. Do it after he gets home. Good call. Make sure to include some pictures too. Oh my god, these these two! The good ones with lighting coming from the side. What the fuck? <laughs> no words. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Watts. No words. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Regret no grandkids. Oh boy, are we gonna give him grandkids? Give him babies? I know, my my parents were just as bad. Like, when I was dating John for like a month or two, my parents asked me when we were getting married. And it's like, uh, no, not really anytime soon, guys, kind of, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it's such a parent thing. Oh. Oh. Are you serious? One for each duck? I'm not complaining. Wish there were a whole flock. Ducks. Okay. So let's go back up here. Let's see. My granddaughter turns five this year. Can you believe it? She's growing big so fast. I'm thinking of making my knitting modular. <laughs> what what just happened? What what have you got? What's going on? Seven? Oh, man. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Time really flies, huh? No kidding. I didn't even realize how old I was getting until I broke my other hip. Word of advice, don't go breaking your hip. <laughs> yeah, I've been lucky on that front so far. Seriously, I shouldn't even be out right now. Uh, why are you out right now? 
It's like just a bag of loose bones rattling in there, I tell ya. Just clanging and clunging and clunging and clanging. How are you even standing up? It's like a bag of beans in there, I tell ya. Go home, dear. Okay then. Um, so the other one must be inside? No, it's not. Oh, I think we just walked past her. She she was over here. Oh, no, she wasn't here the whole time. What's this? Their call card. I printed out another. Sigmund Corp. What made you change your mind? I still feel the same way about it. But some days I wake up and see you on the balcony looking out like that. You don't say it, but I know there's something that still aches you. Tell me, are you happy? Of course I am. I have you and Asher. Then why do you want to go through with their services? Just because I'm happy doesn't mean I don't have regrets. Not that I'd be related to you two anyhow. Call them. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Fia. Oh, short for Sophia. I won't forget about you. Oh. Hey. Hmm. I think I forgot to bring duck food. Huh, me too. Well, that explains her attitude. I told you there was something up with her. You know, she could always sign up with Sigcorp for a life where Colin never signed up with Sigcorp. Har har. Alright. So... What do they have to say? Oh. Memento. Oh, we gotta get that card. I think she's afraid that the regrets that he has in his life they revolve around her and their son. And she doesn't want him to forget them, I guess. Uh... that. Oh, sweet. I, I, yeah, I guess, I guess it's not just a guilty thing too, but it's probably like, say, say your husband or your wife said that, you know, they love life and everything about it and then they wanted to go through this, but they wouldn't tell you exactly why. And then it makes you kind of feel like, you did something wrong to make them not have the perfect life you thought they had. I, I, that's kind of how I'm interpreting it, but I could also be overlooking it. What the? Uh oh. Creepy. I have no idea. That's a little weird. What took you so long? I thought I saw someone weird back there. Hmm. 
did you say that to their face and hurt their feelings? Uh, weird as in they were watching from the woods. Watching from the woods. Yeah. And when I looked, it almost seemed like they... Ugh, never mind. It's stupid. Okay, Eva. Be honest now. Have you been reading too much Dusklight? I already said never mind. They were static anyway, so it was no one important. Hmm. Well, you'll be happy to hear that while you were staring at nothing, I've scouted this memory out. Wait, what? I was only behind you for a few seconds. Ha, <laughs> nice try, Slowpoke. Anyhow, here's what's going on here. In the kitchen, they have a fight about what we suspect from the last memory. Bam. After that, they make up and play music together over there. Cue, awe, etc., etc. Oh, and then Colin goes to sulk on the balcony, the end. Dude, spoilers! Aren't always a bad thing when we're on the job. But here, I even picked up a memory link for you to make up for it. And if you want to see everything yourself so much, then, then just don't use my unlocks. Okay. Hmm, what do we have here? Memento detected. Okay. I'm not going, Fia. It's rather ghostly when the audio and visuals don't quite sync up. Okay, so now we can continue because we have two. We all have regrets, be it righting a wrong or a dream long past, or perhaps that one special someone. If you've got to do it all over again, who would you be? Where would you go? At Sigmund Corp, we give you that second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Well, I'm glad they've made better slogans since then. Here's the fight in the kitchen. Oh, it's gonna be bad. I don't understand. Yeah, the music. Oh, yeah, the feeling music. Why would you even consider? Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make-believe? I'm not tossing anything aside. I mean, don't you have regrets too? Yes, but I actually have respect for what I've been through here. What we've been through here. Tell me, what do you want to change? I want... I mean... There are so many little things that could have just been better. Better? And if you call Sigmund, 
What would you ask for? I... I don't know what to tell you, Fia. Then it, the least you could have done is make up something nice, isn't it? That's what I thought. Remember, Colin is our client. Everything else is fluff. I know. She's locked herself in the bathroom. Let's see. It, it's gotta be a sucky feeling to think that you shared your entire life with someone special and to that person it's not enough. And you blame yourself. But it's got to be a sucky feeling. Prepare. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's that green book. The one that had the blank pages that we couldn't read? Hmm. There's got to be more to that book than we think. What is going on? Okay. Oh, we're young. We're very young. Wait, how in the world? Childhood. Jeez. Childhood. Did we just skip his whole life? I don't know how this could have happened. But since we're here already, try transferring his signal from the last memory. Roger. Oh boy. Oh! Nope, not working. We might have leaped all the way, but the middle of the path is still uncleared. Then, what now? Are we stuck here? Eh, it beats me. We're already here, though. Might as well look around. Mm hmm. Anomaly. Okay. Let's, uh, something is interfering with the memory transversal. They quack things up. Colin wanted grandkids to die happy while changing as little as possible. Save. Locked. Oh, do we just jump down? Oh, okay. The book was what catapulted us all the way here, right? How very magical and equally annoying. Hey. Hmm. This book. It's not getting wet from the rain. Huh. I guess it glitches in more ways than one. It's got to be like a secret. Bird story mode? Is that like another game that I'm unaware of? Ooh. Requires five to proceed. Okay. Oh boy. You hang in there, son. Food's in the fridge as always. Keep this place in check, all right? I will. I'm sorry we have to leave again, Colin. 
but at least we got to see you today before we go. I understand you need to work hard to keep us afloat. That's right. It's a difficult time, but we'll get through it. And one day things are going to be all better. We'll make sure of that. Something happened to his parents? You should keep eating more, you little scamp. Those breads were going quick for a while. I thought you hit a growth spurt. Take care, son. Bye, Dad. Oh. Is that a puppy? <gasps> Is that a puppy? Oh, I did not know that. Bird Story is a game about the current patient in his childhood. Oh, huh, I did not know that. And now back to Rudog the Red-Nosed Corgi. Rudog. Hey, look, you're on TV. Say something. That's not how I remember the show goes at all. Received note, Rudog. Okay. Colin loved watching Rudog the Red-Nosed Corgi. Okay. So weird. Okay. Oh! I didn't even see his head sticking out there. He's jumping on the bed. It's a typical kid. Come on, Rudog, you can jump too. Why is Rudog not moving? A plushy dog with a red nose. Okay, I was like, oh god, is he dead? Should I cry already? A jar of loose change. Boink, boink. <laughs> wow, he was left alone a lot, wasn't he? So I guess I gotta go here? Whoa! Oh, he's playing with a paper airplane. Is he dead? If he's dead, how could we be here decades later? Maybe it's his twin? Dude, too soon! <laughs> oh, don't remind me! Well, actually, I guess it's been a while. A long while. But still, not cool. Eh. Okay. Yeah, I guess I have to play Bird Story now. Alright, so... What the? Isn't this already the furthest memory back? Yeah. Huh. Two, three, four, five. Wait, I just realized something. Hmm. A few memories ago at the Sigmund Signing House. Ugh, here we go. And the boss said he'd put his best people on this case. This was like ages ago, Neil. But he didn't actually mean us, did he? Because Colin was originally assigned to Roxanne and freaking Rob. Yeah, let it go, man. That is utter bullshit. <laughs> okay, calm down. No, I am rage. What the? 
He's got Dragon Ball Z hair. Kami, Hami, don't interrupt me. Ha, Dukin. <laughs> wow, you've really moved up getting sued by two IPs simultaneously. Sorry, Eva. I just can't have you go on thinking I've gotten tame. You could say you brought that upon yourself. No, Neil. I really wouldn't say that. For a parrot. I love Watts. He's adorable. Okay. Puzzles are actually kind of easy. You just have to match up what you're doing. So I had to match up the blue because they had the paper airplanes, which is what this is about. So makes sense. All right, let's see where this goes. The paper airplane takes us in an actual airplane. Years later. Many years later. And we're back to old age. Whoa. Atlanta Center Cactus 135, cruising flight level 360. Cactus 135, Atlanta Center, Roger. Altim Altim altimeter? Altimeter? Altimeter setting 3017. Have a good flight. Altimeter 3015. Thank you. Cactus 135. Well, we've got a nice tailwind going for us. Sir, now that we're in cruise, I just wanted to say it's an honor to be here as your first officer on your final flight. This may be my first time as first officer, but I won't let you down. <laughs> it's all good. Rather poetic, really, passing the baton and all. But you should know... As my co-pilot, there's only two things I ever want to hear from you. Two things, sir? Yep. They're yes, captain, and landing gear down. You're funny, sir. What did I just say? Yes, captain. Ha, of course I'm just messing with you. Just reminded me of back when I did my first flight as first officer, that's all. Man, my captain was a crazy mess. Yes, Captain. Hmm, you know what? I said I was just kidding, right? Yes, Captain. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna let my wife and son come in and sit for a bit, if you don't mind. It's my last flight, after all. They're not gonna get this view again. Yes, Captain. He's taking it really... too... literally. Irene, could you bring my family in? Thank you. Huh. I can't... Okay. Flight regulations were still so chill back in the day, huh? Eh, times change. go back. Oh, well, it's cool that we're on a plane. That's, that's, uh, it's pretty funny. Creepy with all the dark people, but maybe, maybe this is like the Langoliers. Anyone ever see the Langoliers? Please tell me someone in this room has seen the Langoliers. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one that's ever seen the Langoliers. It's kind of a horror movie? Kind of? Sort of? It's a very old movie? Oh god. Oh, there's the family. So what'd you two say? One last round? 
Is it all right with management? Already approved. Special occasion and all. You heard him, Ma. Go, go, go. Yes, the, the Langoliers. The Langoliers was a movie about a plane. And everyone who fell asleep on the plane, I, they flew through some kind of portal or something. And only the people who fell asleep on the plane survived. So the plane's like in this like Bermuda Triangle thing. And there's like these really weird monsters and like people keep disappearing it's like really freaking weird so basically if you were sleeping and you went through the portal then you were the only one there and then everyone else vanished it was it was such a crazy movie it's kind of a horror movie but like a really like slow building kind of boring not highly rated good horror movie it's it's definitely a piece though so you're going to miss the views? From the big birds, sure. But it's not like I'm giving up the sky. Oh, don't you go renting those small planes. I don't trust you flying in them. Speaking of, I wish they gave you a bigger plane for the last flight of your career. Like one of those monster double-deckers. Ha, <laughs> I asked for this particular one myself. I had my first flight with the airline in this. It was a different time back then. A time with lots of peanuts. I miss them so much. You know, Dad. All these years of flying and you never told me why you chose to be a pilot in the first place. Oh, I haven't, huh? Psst, don't tell your mother, but I... But it was to impress a girl. Yeah? Did it work? Sure, I guess. Oh, please. With the way your father acted, I doubt he dated anyone at all when we met. Shots fired, Dad. Hey now, Fia, don't go spreading false rumors in front of our son. I'll have you know that I was quite the stud back in the days. Captain, just a reminder that we're on the record for the black box. Oh, thanks for the reminder. Let the record show that my biceps are out of this world. No, no, they really aren't. Oh, but they are. When I pulled that yoke on takeoff earlier, I practically lifted the entire plane off the ground. Isn't that right, Peyton? Yes, Captain. Yeah? Well, let me tell you all a story about this one time involving a jar of pickles. <laughs> okay, we need to maintain a sterile cockpit for landing. Let's get you two back to your seats. Off you go now. Shoo shoo. Sir, we're not landing for another couple of hours. I know. Huh. Oh boy. So I gotta go back. So, uh, are you coming with, or what? No, I like this view. I thought you were acrophobic. Only when I'm not inside a plane. How about you go wrap up this memory and I'll join you shortly after? Are you serious? It's on a loop. Yeah, but the pictures from the seat's angle is just absolutely divine. In fact, I pity you or anyone who can't see the way the horizon meets the... Don't give me that... Cabbage? Cabbage lettuce? Okay. Cabbage. I guess. Why is everyone in the middle of this? Oh, are they getting off? They must be getting off. Yeah, they're getting off. Thank you for the lovely flight, sir. Cheers. Hope you have a nice day. Hello, little one. Hope you enjoyed the... The landing sucked! <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry it was a little rough. Not one of my better landings. The wind was... Bad landing. Oh. Oh boy. This is weird. Okay, so I guess I can't go farther back.
Oh, so I can go out here. Okay. Oh, what a fellow cellist, huh? Oh, is it a cellist? Like a cello player? Here, let me get that for you. Thank you, sir. Yay, are you good at the cello? Ha, <laughs> not really. My wife is the real musician of the family. Beautiful instrument, though. I loved playing it as a kid. Cello. Beautiful instrument. Okay. Rush past to get the baggage claim. What is the memento on this? I can't find. Where the frick? Is it the cello? Might be the cello. Yep. There we go. Prepare. Okay. I was just about to... That was quick. I wonder why he got involved in the cello. Oh, he's a kid again. Uh... How did we skip to the childhood memories again? And this time the memento isn't even that book. Is there something wrong with the machine, Neil? Huh? It's not the machine. At least, I don't think it is. Well, I guess at least we know that we can go back now. Let's just hope this doesn't interfere with finishing this job. Relax, we'll manage. Alright. Is there literally anything else left, Miss Miller? Nope. This is your instrument. Get used to it. Wow. He was forced to play it. I hate that shit. Loved playing cello as a kid. My arse. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Wow. You belong at a grade school. Your childish jabs aside, Eva. And on an unrelated note, this place kind of makes me feel like I'm on the set of some indie French film. Uh, what? What about this possibly makes you feel that way? I don't know. Just a feeling. If he wanted something else, he should have lined up earlier. Wow. Okay, so he had no choice but to play the cello. Let's see. Hey, don't push! I call dibs on the violin. It's so light to carry. I'm gonna get the flute. It fits in my backpack. goes. Did you see that? Is he carrying that thing or is it carrying him? It looks like just a floating case from behind. Oh boy. Wow, this is awkward to watch. Eva, why did we get all these losers as our clients? Maybe because you're here, moron. Ah, oh, well, that's a nice compliment under Goss's law for magnetism. Hmm. So 
a shovel. Let's see. Can I do anything with him? Let's leave him alone. Oh, he already is. That is so rude. feeling these aren't exact replicas from the actual setting. It's as if his memories took quite the creative liberty in mixing things up. Isn't the machine built with public domain data stabilizers to prevent this? Uh, yeah, but maybe broken? Maybe? You're the tech specialist! Yeah, I'll have a look afterward. I don't know what else to look at. Like the sandbox or can't really go any farther than that. One more, so maybe the other way. Yep, here we go. What's he doing? Counting dirt, I guess. Oh boy. Colin? Oh boy. Colin! Uh, the answer is C. What? I'll ask you again. What is the radius of the circle? Uh... Where's your head at, Colin? Go stand in the hall. Oh, for punishment. I remember having to do that in elementary. Stand outside in the hall. You had to, like, not talk to anyone and just kind of you weren't allowed to sit or anything, so that makes sense. What is this? Hmm, that could be our ticket out of here. Alright, I think we could reach it if we just... Nah, I got this. Let me find a way. Let me find a way to get to it. Alright, now watch this. Is that a freaking wand? Wait, you didn't disable the... Mobilerbus, uh, teacher's deskus. What? What the hell are we doing? Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And down. <laughs> Did you kids just flip and see that? Dude. Reset. Okay, first of all, disable reactive interactivity before you pull that stuff. And second of all, that's not even how the spell goes. Oh yeah, it is. Did you see that thing fly? They sure did, you village idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> did you kids just flip and see that? <laughs> That was amazing. Hmm. What? Nothing. I guess I wasn't expecting you to start saying dumb things again. Eva, do you know how draining it is to unleash a Kamehameha and a Hadoken simultaneously? I mean, I know I'm a pro, but even I need my beauty sleep. Prepare the memento. Alright, so we have clocks now. Um, all right, and then there we go. 
So it's three o'clock. Activate. I'm, that's forever going to be imprinted in my brain. Did you kids just flip and see that? It's great. I love it. Um, are we back at the old age period again? Well, looks like they're moving in. And here it is, the perfect retirement apartment. We sure are. Okay, I think I got it figured out. Hmm? I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. With all our other patients, we began from the most recent point and gradually traced backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. For the first few memories in his oldest time, everything went just as normal. But then we somehow got slingshotted. All the way to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that and once again leaped back to the older times where we left off. Then to the earlier ones again, moving forward. And once more to the older time, moving backward. These jumps aren't in a random order and nor do they form just any pattern. It's the pattern of a decaying orbit. It's almost as if we're being pulled in, spiraling towards a gravitational center. A gravitational center, huh? Inappropriate contest, context for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh-so-deep event of melodramatic angst that traumatized our fine gentleman? I don't know. Maybe it is a memory of that sort, but... Maybe it's something else. Uh, something else? What could be here other than memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients and there's never been a memory that's done this. All right, I guess at least this one isn't routine then. Hmm, we'll see. Okay then. Yeah, something in his teenager days, so we shall see. One bedroom with balcony and there's also an attic for storage. How often do you find attics in an apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. I thought the lake is on the other side of the building though. Yeah, but this unit is on the edge, so you can see it if you hold out a mirror from the balcony. Here, have a brochure. Okay. So there's that. And this is the kitchen. If you pay attention to the walls, you'll notice that it hasn't even had one fire accident. Of course, if it had, the whole place would have surely burnt down, being an apartment at all. Uh, I mean, of course it won't happen, because y'all seem like careful folks, right? I guess what I'm saying is, uh, fire safety is very important. Okay. Still locked. Why is the bathroom always locked? Something happened in the bathroom? Can I go into the attic? An attic in an apartment? Isn't it amazing? I think this floor is otherwise reserved for heating and utility units for the building. If something in the building explodes, I guess it probably hit pretty close. Okay, I'm trying to feel spooked about the memory leap thing, but this isn't helping. Okay. Diarrhea? <laughs> That's why the bathroom's locked? Because of diarrhea? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the memory loop. In his teenage years, he had massive shits. And <laughs> it's ruined everything. The end. The story solved. This is probably the memento. Brochure for the apartment. No, it's not? Wow. Oh, let's check the balcony first.
And as you can see, this is why they call this Lakeview Residence. I mean, you can't literally see because the lake's behind us on the other side, but... If you extend your head off the balcony to the left, you might be able to see a bit of it. Don't, though. You'd fall off. Okay, on we go. I wonder what he's staring at. Hmm. I wonder why he likes the balcony so much. Oh, there's a newspaper now. Not a newspaper. Why did I say newspaper? There's a paper airplane! Huh, wasn't that just a brochure a moment ago? Yeah, I guess he just folded it. What's the issue? Well, if I'm guessing right... Yep. It's a memento. Being a memento, it's kind of odd that it came to be without a seeing. Huh. In any case, at least it's convenient. I didn't see another way out of this place. So, what do you think? Well, it's nice and quiet. I like it. Me too, but... I would have liked it better if you just didn't talk, Fred. Yeah, that really didn't help at all. You weren't my cousin- If you weren't my cousin's friend's brother, we would have walked out by now. More like ran out. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not good at sales. So, um, sorry to be blunt, but are you going to take it? Because there's a deposit fee, you see, which technically I could elope, but I promise I- Stop talking. We'll take it. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go into this room. You said you're a musician, right? This room is perfect for performances. There's very little room for an audience, though, so you'd probably be playing alone. Which is kind of sad, but I digress. Alright, so we finally got all the things for the mementos. Let's do it. Let's prepare! He is the worst salesperson ever. Okay, so now we need red. Hmm. This one's going to be tricky. Okay. Alright, so. How does that work? Oh. There we go. Activate. I haven't seen any more of the person around yet. I don't know where they were. Back to childhood. Sling back again, huh? Yep. Your theory still checks out. Okay, let's place bets. What? Bets on what? Oh, bets on what's causing this anomaly, of course. You've get your guesses versus mine. Oh, get a life. Dibs on first guess, then. Bet you $10 it's about a girl. Suddenly a romantic, aren't you? Nah, just the fact that with these things, it's always about some girl. Not everything is about some girl, Neil. Besides, I think we've seen enough from his own memories to say he's happily married and... Hey! Oh. Oh, God! Oh, it is a girl. What you doing up there? Yes, you! I see you standing up there like that every day. What are you always looking at? There you are. So, got a name? 
Uh, do you have a name, right? You do have a name, right? Colin. What? I can't hear you. I said my name is Colin. Huh? You're Colin what? What? No, um, let me just... Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, the paper airplanes. That's what happened. That's what happened. He's gonna do a paper airplane. He's, he folds it up. Oh, that is so freaking cute. Are you serious? Hey, I'm gonna throw this paper plane over. I wrote stuff on this. Just catch it, okay? I was gonna say just speak louder, but... Okay. Okay, here it goes. Oh, it's not gonna work. Nope. Uh, hold on. Dumb kid has no respect for the laws of physics. He's like nine, dude. Hey, it's all right. So it didn't work out. Aww. You need to concentrate, okay? Just keep your eyes on me. Throw as hard as you can. If you try hard enough, I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. Oh. Okay, okay. I can do this. Here it goes. Nope. Wow! <laughs> you should have seen your determined face. That's not funny. You can't throw it against the wind, silly, no matter how hard you try. What did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> I'm going inside. Okay, wait, wait, don't go. So, Colin, right? I thought you didn't hear. Yeah, well, I think I've actually seen you on the way to school. What does that have to do with... You go to the one across the woods from here, right? Yeah? Oh, well, I just go to the one across from the street from yours. Why are there two schools? Like, in the same tight vicinity. That's what I want to know. The private school? Yup, yup. Lucky. Why? Well, because it's all exclusive and costs money and stuff. Oh, hmm, I guess. People are all snobby there, though. They are? Nah, I'm just trying to make you feel better. <laughs> hey, let's walk to school together next time. Why? Because I like you, silly. You're just the right amount of dumb. What's that supposed to mean? Besides, have you heard about the bear attacks in the woods? No, I've only seen badgers. What did you hear? Oh no, I didn't hear anything either. But that's why I'm suspicious. It's a little too quiet. Anyway, we're practic we practically go the same route, right? It'd be good to stick together. I guess so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, those the parents? What was that? Hmm? She just ran back in when they came out. Eh, it's not that uncommon for kids to be scared of the parents. Back when I was young, I knew a kid who had one scary mother. Saw her spanking him with a spatula once. Never ate her brownies after that. <laughs> Faye. 
Let's check that note. So Faye is the girl across the balcony. Colin hated playing cello as a kid. He loved playing cello as a kid. The last landing of Colin's career didn't quite hit the mark. Okay. All right. Wait, did I save? I guess I did. Didn't feel like I did, but okay. There's something weird about this girl. I don't know what it is, but something weird. What a weirdo kid. There's the memento. Ooh, another clock. Don't you dare do anything. I'm getting this one. Let me at least take it off the wall for you. No! Just don't. It's not even that high. We don't need to take it down. A Rue Dog plush toy sits in the bookcase. Doesn't seem like he's playing with it much. Poor Rue Dog. So let's go down. On the upside, I wish I had the TV all to myself when I was a kid. You and Rudog. Today's classical guitar concert is sponsored by Meow Blend. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Why can't we have a jingle this catchy? One can only dream. Coming up next on Classics Replay, The Godfather. Hold on, I kind of want to stay and watch this. The kid watched The Godfather. And Meow Mix commercials. Kid has got the life. So that's the green book that we can't do anything with. What's that? Is he pooping? Why is he practicing in the bathroom? Because the bathroom reverb makes the sound awesome, of course. You sure seem knowledgeable. Back when I played the triangle, I did it all the time. Aww. Wow, not even the fabled bathroom reverb could save that crap. Okay, so he sucked at the cello. I guess that's the rug all bunched up? I guess? It looks weird. It looks like there's something there. Let's prepare the clock. Looks like quarter to nine? No, not nine. Quarter to five or something? Some blanks help to remember. Some help to forget. see what we're doing. Okay. There we go. That was weird. I played the clarinet and didn't really like it as much as I kind of hoped it would. First I wanted to do the drums. They wouldn't let me do the drums, meaning the teachers. Because uh, they had a limit to how many 
kids could like do certain instruments. So I had to pick clarinet because that was one of the last ones left. And then I got splinters in my tongue from the wooden reed that I used to play the clarinet. It was just an awful time. Like, I did not enjoy playing the clarinet. I did it for like two years, I want to say, but did not have fun. And I was not that great at it, and I never learned. <laughs> like, I still couldn't, even to this day, I still can't reach my pinky to hit the last note on the clarinet. It's really inconvenient. People are looking for you, you know. Oh, is she performing? Oh, violin and piano, cool. Nervous for your last performance here? I'm not nervous. It's just, I played in this theater for so many years. It feels strange to just have this be the last. Well, you never know. We can always visit. This place isn't going anywhere. I saw what you were going to play, by the way. Not my most virtuistic piece, huh? Well, I kind of like that one, but I thought you didn't. I guess it's grown on me. I don't know. I don't know if I did something wrong. I always got splinters on the tip of my tongue because you had to like wet the reed and it was just uh... I knew it. Just a little. Hey, we still got some time before the concert starts, right? Go get your cello and come play with me for a bit. That'll help calm my nerves. I thought you weren't nervous. Hmm. What's the deal? Like, how did he meet his wife? This is weird. I want to know what the deal of their relationship is, because I'm a little questionable on it. Who's got the best nose? You do. Oh, yes, you certainly do. What are you looking at? Oh boy. So, what did you want to play? Doesn't matter much, really. Why don't you just play your scales and I'll do that a com a compan accompaniment for it. Accompaniment accompaniment for it? I can't do words tonight. <laughs> Are we trying to calm you down or me? I happen to find the simple things mindless and relaxing. Fair enough. The scale theme. A thing Sophia played that accompanied Colin's scales. Okay. Man, she's doing all the work while he's just playing the scales. Didn't you used to play the triangle in band? Yes, and the triangle is one of the most nuisance and misunderstood instrument there is. <laughs> you tell him. Let's see. Let's go to the stage. their kid time is a place what are you doing slacking off up there ash oh come on I've already set up a whole row of chairs I even named it Asher's row everyone who sits will play a toll will pay a toll oh and I'll let that take care of your allowances then not cool, Dad. Oh, hey, where's Mom? Not sure. I'm gonna go look for her. That's why you need to get your butt down here and help. Bleh. Alright. Oh, there's people back here. Where are the people? 
Man, this place is perfect to play chair Pac-Man. Can I... No? The lad grows young so fast. What just happened? What the? It's flickering into another memory. What just happened? Uh, or not? Ooh, any idea what that was about? How should I know? Well, you are the technician. And to be fair, this isn't the only weird thing that's happened this trip. Are you sure you didn't forget a wire or miss a collaboration? A calibration, rather? Not a collaboration, calibration? My calibrations are as spotless as Bambi's butt after he lost his spots. Okay, okay, I'm just saying you should keep an eye open. Weird. Really weird. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Hey, have you guys seen Sophia? Check the practice halls. I saw her going there. Thanks, we'll do. Y'all should visit, by the way. We're gonna miss having her play here. Aye, we will. And they never did. You don't know that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that the memento up here? No? I thought it would be. Maybe it's the piano or something. Memento is. Is it the clock again? No. What the fuck is the memento? It's the cello again. Gotta line up the cellos. working. Um, there we go. I wasn't sure what I was doing for a second. Another cello. Hmm, you know what's weird? What? This memory of his wife's last concert, yet we didn't see any of her, any of her concert itself. There was a flicker of it back there, I guess. Still, self-absorption, ahoy. Perhaps, but it depends. What we see here is largely, largely influenced by his actual regrets, after all. Try to remember that what we see here has more to do with relevance than importance to him. Eh, something still feels odd to me. But alright, see you on the other side. 